What's poppin' yo, it's your boy Bustelo. Oh, man. Wow, man, I got his uh, great uh, game capture right here, man. Um, some Moscow. Just camping, draw, playing domination, doing a little bit of camping on the side. Doing my thing, bro. Listen. Um, the moments of enjoyment in this game are very, very, uh, very few in between, man. You know what I mean? So, uh, to be able to have a mini skill amount of fun playing it on matches, you know, it's, 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 it's a great accomplishment. But, um, dude, man, there's a lot of noise in the boxing world right now, man. Um. You had the the Wilder and Tyson Fury uh, fight, man, that has been postponed. Um, they say that uh, somebody in uh, Tyson Fury uh, team uh, caught COVID, and uh, that's why they had to postpone it. Listen, man. Um, you have a lot of you have you have a group of people out there on YouTube that post uh, you know boxing uh, commentary and, and they you know and stuff like that and some of these people man like they are pretty much fanboys you know and they go out there and. and they uh, give their opinion, which they entitled to, you know, they give their opinion, but it's not based on facts, and it's, it's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of it's fic based on fiction, and, um, and it's just, it's just crazy to me, you know, um, Wilder, when Wilder lost his second fight with Tyson Fury, he went on a rampage, blaming everybody and everything, um, and looking for every single excuse of why he lost the fight. Okay, um, I'm gonna tell you why Bob Wilder lost the fight in a few minutes. But um, Wilder, Wilder um, blamed the, the he blamed the manager. He uh, blamed uh, he said that Tyson Fury uh, cheated by by uh, using loaded gloves you know um, he, he said that somebody poisoned him the night before food poisoning uh, he even blamed the referee he blamed every single person that he can think of or why he lost that, that match um, for those people who are about my age you guys remember the fight that uh, Hollyfield and Tyson had uh, the two fights uh, that they had. Tyson, before Holyfield, Tyson had lost only one fight, and that was to Boston Douglas. Um, it was a fight that, uh, for some weird reason, it just it wasn't Tyson's night, and he lost that fight. When he faced Holyfield, um, Tyson still had that uh, bully mentality. You know, he throughout his fighting career, Tyson uh, always fought with that bully mentality, and he felt like he had so much skill, and he was so so strong and so and, and he's so hard. I mean, he was pretty much um, unstoppable in a sense that uh, he had everything going for him as a heavyweight. The, his speed, his power. His boxing knowledge, ability, uh, I mean, his, you know, his talent, it was, it was, it was uh, unbelievable. Tyson was an unbelievable boxer, man. Um, so, he, he had that bully stigma to him, you know, he would just go to the ring and, uh, and he used to intimidate people, man. A, a lot of these fighters, man. Uh, that will go against Tyson. You'll see the you could see the fear in the eyes. But when he faced Holyfield, man, Holyfield wasn't really afraid of Mike Tyson, and 
he went in Holyfield has always been known for having a lot of heart and in a, in a master of a shin uh, I'm telling you uh, um, Holyfield shin must be made of of that same freaking metal where Captain America shield is made of I mean t Holyfield shin was unfucking believable and uh, and so when he went against Tyson, man, he went in there and he did his thing. And and Tyson couldn't bully Holyfield. And it got to a point where, look at this asshole right here. Look at this fucking faggot right here. It got to the point that, you know, Holyfield was getting the best out of Tyson. And he, when Tyson saw he couldn't bully him, and, he, and Tyson um, got into a point where Tyson himself was getting hit and he was getting annoyed because he was getting hit and he was getting beat like like no one else ever beat him before he got frustrated and 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 uh and mentally he got defeated he was defeated mentally you know and and he he, he i'm not gonna really say that tyson was scared of holyfield at one point but mentally, he wasn't in the game. He wasn't in, in the match. He was so frustrated. He didn't know what to do. He was defeated mentally. Like, it was the worst defeat he suffered was more mentally and emotionally than anything else. That's why he ended up biting uh, Holyfield in the ear. Um, now, when we watched the fight between Fury and... And um, and Wilder, on the first fight, you could see that on the first fight, Tyson Fury was getting the best out of Wilder. Uh, he was beating him and everything, but he wasn't. Uh, Tyson wasn't really. Um, he was outboxing him, but the match throughout the fight was 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 uh, kind of close. It wasn't like a overwhelming beatdown, you know. Uh, then when when uh, Walden uh, landed the uh, the knockout, um, he uh, you know he 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 was like oh shit you know I'm gonna win this fight. But when Tyson Fury got up the the second time when he got up and uh, and still was in the fight, he was still fighting. Um, you could you you notice that frustration, and you could notice the same eyes that Tyson had, Mike Tyson had with Holyfield. You could notice that with Wilder. Um, I believe, I truly believe that if they had a extra a round or two, two more rounds into the fight, if they would have had two more rounds, um, um, Fury would have won that fight. Fury would have knocked them out because when Fury got up the second time, Walder Walder was the, he mentally Walder was like out of there. He was the, you know he couldn't believe it. So <clears throat> we go into the second fight, and Walder is thinking, well, I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna I'm gonna land that 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 bomb on him early in the round and I'm going to knock him out and it's going to be the end of the fight but what happening here is that Fury um, Tyson Fury is a boxer he's a good boxer and and uh, and he DM fight he, he, he felt like okay you know I beat him fighting on my own going backwards you know fighting defensively this time around, I'm going to whip his ass uh, moving forward. And, you know, I'm going to bring the fight to him and make him fight, you know, on back. And knowing that Wilder really doesn't have any polish or any kind of boxing skill. So, <laughs> throughout, the, throughout the fight, Tyson Fury was just moving forward and putting that job on him and that's that you know he will mix jobs regular job with steep jobs and uh, uh, stiff jobs and then he would just put that beat down on him you know and 
um, uh, Wilder didn't know what to do because he he's not really a boxer. That was a bullshit ass fucking shot, man. I ain't see that dude. He didn't know. He don't know how to fight on his by by, by foot because he's not really a boxer. He's a brawler, you know. So Wilder was getting his ass kicked throughout the fight. Then when um when Fury busted Tyson Fury busted Wilder's ear. You can see the the fear in Wilder in in the Wilder's eyes. You can see the fear, man. You see it, um, big and the frustration and the fear because uh, you was one a bully and now you're getting bullied by this guy and and you don't know what to do. You don't have the tools in your arsenal to be able to 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 to, to fight this guy. You know, you watch, you know, so, um, and that's what really happened. You know, Tyson Fury put that weapon on Wilder, and Wilder got beat mentally and physically and emotionally. And, and, and that's what happened on that fight. Um, the reason why, you know, you saw like the man was just a total different man is because he was beat emotionally and mentally. To this day, you know, but um, um, I don't. I, I think that the reason why the fight was postponed is just they haven't been able to sell. Nobody cares about the fight, you know. Everybody, everybody knows what uh, Fury is gonna win that fight. Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, share the video if you like the video. To next time, shoot boy, don't be signing out. Salute.